deer. Not much to report this morning. We're on our way to Bland, Virginia to buy uh, propane. There's that bucket again. They tell you to take a bag, fill it with wood chips, take it to the next campsite, dump the wood chips in the privy, and then drop the bag off here. But I don't know anything about privies because I shit in the woods. But I guess it's to compost. But someone said just making, like not making, but asking through hikers to do that is like the last thing they would need to do is just add more things to their bag. And you, you get my drift. Someone said leaves are the best thing you do. Just throw leaves into the privy and it makes a natural compost. But again, I will never go to the bathroom in a privy. I can hear Laurel Creek. That means it's lunchtime. That's quite the swimming hole right there. Very tempting. Thank you, Trail Angels. Apples, oranges, and green apples. I just had to come out of here, over here out of curiosity to see if there was a body in there. No body. 7.3 miles to Bland. The Laurel Creek is very cold. It's okay. US 52. That's bland. Let's see what else they have to offer besides canister fuel. <clears throat> Maybe a cheeseburger. I just stepped on that and jumped. Thought I might have stepped on a real snake. Perfect timing. It literally just ran out and I had a ramen bomb. Half a mile to go down this dirt road. Then we're at the highway. Then I figure out how I'm gonna get to the Sitco station, which is three miles down the road. I'm gonna have to walk, I don't know, but 
there is a bunk hostel, but it's kind of late, not for me. But if I go there, by the time I get settled in and it's like 7 p.m., basically an hour after that, I have to sit there in silence in a dark room. Seems to me they're putting power lines in from here to there and then all the way across the valley. If you're gonna have a hiker hostel, this would be a convenient place. Half a mile down the gravel, get to the hostel, you know what I mean? I guess these people probably want that kind of, don't want that kind of trash in their town though. Stinking it up. Like this group of bums over here. Guys, this this looks a little Just a regular beach trail. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bland, Virginia. It's quite bland, if I might say so myself. I got off the trailhead, and there's this new outfitter store, which I just showed you. They're barely stocked, but they were closed. And it turns out the place that had the fuel tanks in town closed as well. So I was about to take a hitch and just figure out what the next move was just to make this three miles here. And then as I'm trying to get a hitch, the guy that pulls in happens to be the store owner. And he had one more fuel canister left. So thank you, Steve. And then he brought out, for me and the other people sitting out there, a whole thing of fresh, fresh, um, some kind of cobbler. I forgot what fruit it was. But, so he gave us pieces of that. We ate it. Then he dropped me off here downtown to go to Dollar General because I needed water. Because there's no water, or there's no water anywhere. So I bought two more smart waters. And now he showed me some pavilion in town where I could camp at night. Quaint little town. Not much action. Alignments cost zero here in Bland. He said it's the pavilion behind Grant's. Here's Grant's. Crab Orchard Community Park. And that is my shelter for the night. I have it all to myself. Chairs, tables. Maybe the kicker will be there's an electrical outlet too. Bazinga. Hopefully there's not like some church choir singing in here tomorrow morning. And my tent is somewhere out back here. I come out of my tent in the morning and burst into flames.